Hey everybody, it is Mike. It is Saturday, that means it is time for the Horror Man's Slashback Saturday Challenge. Every week, Joe at the Horror Man gives us a new uh, topic to review, and we pick a movie within that theme, watch it, and review it. Now, he does this every week, um, and I watch a movie every week because he gives us, uh, you know, the challenge every week. However, I, most of the time, don't make the video. I watch the movie, but I don't make the video because Fridays and Saturdays for me are actually quite busy. Um, lots of stuff that has to be done around the house and mowing grass and all of that stuff. So this week, kind of chill. It's kind of rainy outside. Um, and so, yeah, I get to make a video. Uh, this week's challenge was uh, wild card slashers, which basically means pick any slasher that you want to watch. It could be a new watch. It could be something that you wanted to revisit. Um, I went ahead and selected Urban Legend 2 Final Cut because, one, I haven't watched it in years, and two, it's been sitting over there on my watch rack, well, along with a hundred others, um, for a very long time. Uh, I ordered it from Shout Factory a long time ago. Uh, so yeah, I decided that would be it. And I didn't remember much about this movie other than Joy Lawrence was in it and uh, Loretta Devine. So we had those two. Um, so we have our main girl. Um, she's a pretty good actress uh, and has done a ton since this movie. And her name is Jennifer Morrison. She plays Amy. We have Matthew Davis who plays uh, Travis slash Trevor. Uh, the twins, one kills himself, but not really. Um, and then we have uh, Eva Mendez, Eva Mendez. We have Hart, Hart Bachner, um, Anthony Anderson, and then a girl, uh, an actress that I really like. Her name is Jessica Caulfield, and you would re recognize her from Valentine. Um, she was the blonde girl who got shot with all the arrows and fell off the staircase into the dumpster. Love her. She doesn't fare much better in this movie. Um, so this movie was released in 2000. Uh, it's about 96 minutes long. Uh, it's, it's a pretty fast-paced movie. It is not a fabulous movie by any stretch of imagination, but I enjoyed it. Uh, the characters are all pretty well acted. Um, Joey Lawrence is, you know, typical Joey kind of snobby rich kid um, trying to be the best at everything. He, he's not the main character. Our main characters are uh, the Amy and the Travis slash Trent. And then this is basically set at another college, of course. And it's set in a film school. So you had the college aspect, and then you had these kids trying to make a horror movie. And it's pretty hysterical. Um, they, they're, you know, just just the um, watching my actress um, act so poorly when she's really very good. Uh, as far as the plot, we have somebody killing off the, the uh, directors and the crew of these student-made movies, which um, is kind of unsettling. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot of urban legend in this. Um, most of the people that get killed, they either get beat up uh, or beat to death with like film equipment. They get stabbed. A couple of them get electrocuted. One girl gets uh, hung up in a bell tower. Um, so yeah, not the, uh, not the most graphic deaths or really the most urban legend deaths. But the first one starts out with uh, a girl getting her liver cut out, um, and she wakes up in a bathtub full of ice, but that's not what kills her. Um, she actually has the best death scene in the movie. Uh, so that was that was the first death, and, and then the rest of them are just, you know, most of them are off camera, to be quite honest with you. Uh, we see one character getting stabbed to death, but it's all done through, it's all seen through the eye of a camera, so you really don't see any 
of the stabbings or anything. So we have the two main characters. Um, they kind of like each other, um, Trent and Amy. And Amy, uh, Travis is the first guy, sorry. Um, Travis is very upset because he gets a very low grade in his on his movie, C plus, C minus. He's very distraught. Um, and she tries to help him and say, hey, you know, I really need you on my film. Uh, will you help me? And later that night, you hear a gunshot. So you have no idea what happens until later, where they explain Travis had committed suicide. Well, lo and behold, Travis has a brother named, twin brother named Trent. So Trent shows up to find out what's going on. Him and Amy try to, uh, try because he doesn't believe for one second that his brother would kill himself. So through the investigation, they find out that the movie that Travis was graded on wasn't his movie. Um, it was an awful movie made by somebody else, and they spliced it together with the end credits showing Travis as the writer, director, or creator, but it wasn't him. Um, also, through their investigation, they figure out that, you know, that people are starting to come up missing, um, and a lot of the issues that the, they're having uh, seem to be purposefully done by somebody, but they can't figure out who or what. And, uh, you know, it's it's kind of an interesting movie watching how they set up the film and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but overall, not the scariest movie, I've, not even close. Uh, definitely not the goriest movie, so if you're big into gore, you're not going to particularly appreciate this one. Um, but it's interesting. It's well acted. Uh, you know, for the most part, it's it's a decent little movie. And we have a little cameo at the end from um, one of the people from the original movie. Uh, and it's a funny little end scene. Uh, so, yeah, Loretta Devine and um, the two lead actors really made this movie for me. Uh, because, truthfully, the rest of them weren't around too long. Too long. So, yeah, decent movie. Um, it, it'll stay on my shelf just because I like this one in the first one. All right, so I rambled on enough. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, enjoy your weekend, and happy Slashback Saturday. Thanks, guys. Bye.